right, so here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion, Colby Covington, and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter, there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington. He's a hell of a fighter. But ultimately, it's about the fighting, and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career. A former champion, a guy that's been in there with the very best of the division, and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Anjos fight, and I watch Kobe put a pace on him that Dos Anjos, who is also known for his cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch, and if you know Kobe before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to accomplish his goal. Shot dead. Those are the only words that come to mind when Leon Edwards makes the walk. You can argue that his head kick knockout of Kamar Usman at UFC 278 is the biggest singular win in UFC history. And now this man is defunded remarkably at 170 pounds. And J.A., I asked you this question. It wasn't luck because we've seen him do this before, right? We have seen him knock people out with this exact combination. This was something that he does. Leon Edwards is a master strategist. I've trained with him before. He works exceedingly hard. He does a great job of being very committed inside the gym, and he has just gotten better. It's been a long time since anyone's beaten Leon Edwards, and that's why he's a champion of the world. And to be able to win a fight like that against that type of opposition when maybe you don't have your best stuff, scary to think about just how good Leon Edwards can be here tonight and moving forward. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kobe Chaos Covington. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight. Champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. Herbert Dean's in the building. Ready, He's right. the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Go. All right, folks, we are looking live at two of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the game today, Colby Covington chasing that immortality, undisputed greatness against the incumbent, Leon Rocky Edwards. Colby Covington has long lived at the top of his division. Leon Edwards now lives at the very top of the division. He is the champion, and he carries that championship swagger about himself. The guy's a star, and his game is evolving every time we see him in the octagon, and he feels that now he's ready to solve the Colby Covington puzzle. You gotta be kidding me. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. Oh, man, John, they're trading early. Oh, beautiful strike in there. Big double leg leverage. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Lands with the ground and pound. Another strike gets through from the top position. Big ground and pound. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. He 
Johnny's got a better move. Yeah, he's got a move. Johnny's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He's got to be careful here. Beautiful transition. Covington's right back to the full mount here. 30 seconds to go. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Ten seconds, Ten seconds. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Right. Round two next. All right, sit down, buddy. Take a deep breath, bro. All right, get him some water. A drink. Slow that heart rate down. All right, here we go. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. A lot of good work on the ground. You knew, John, going into the fight, that if he was able to get this fight to the floor, he would have the most success. And you saw it in that exchange. He was able to get posture, land some really good ground and pound as the round came to an end. All right, here we go with the start of round Great two. Fight. Leon Edwards. Great. And that Great. man, Colby Covington. Covington gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Another strike to the head land. Winded up on the right there to no avail. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those he might be I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Just misses with the straight right. Back and forth we go here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. All right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Three minutes to go. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Defensive Savant, he blocked that punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow his eye. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He's taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now, and he's got to start to protect him. The takedown is not there. Now a kick to the body. Under 90 seconds to go here in the second round. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Oh, how about this as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine with a body loop. Good job by the champ there. Slide back out. Stand up. Work. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, you can fall in love with those. You can fall in love with the strike. Well, he's got his back now. While well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Covington. 
Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Right, round three coming up next. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do All it. right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Great point. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like to. Get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hands. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. He's got to be careful here. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Covington going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Great job finding his shots from the top position. He passes to half guard. Covington's back in full length. Oh, he got to his spot. Oh, now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. Thought about a joke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, champ. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down ground and ground. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. Oh, nice elbow. Final seconds here. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. Excellent. That was beautiful, man. He's hurt. You had him right there, man. You could have closed this off. You're going to do it in this round. He's done. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He <laughs> is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up, he was battered, he was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. All right, so here we go, fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. Oh, that's his his opponent in a world of trouble. 
Beautiful. Wow. How about these two going at it? Down defense holds up. Tags him with that uppercut. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Shot to the right now. Block. And just misses with that big right hand. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. as good a punch as he's thrown on The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect, and that one landed perfectly. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Covington's in half guard. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to his opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish the fight. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Evans. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Scramble, scramble, get up. Get them out here. Change of the position. Edwards is right back to the former. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Covington goes for the takedown and misses. Edwards is torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite blue starting to form on that right side. Jeez Louise! All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. 
at one minute, three seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and...